Hello, my name is Jan Mattes. I'm Chief Product Owner of Signavio Process Analysis and Mining, and I will now show you how you can analyze your S4HANA system using Process Intelligence and Process Insights with plug and gain data. So what you see here currently is our collaboration hub, and uh, there we have basically a depiction of my uh, main processes, which are um, run in my S4HANA systems. If I go into the details of uh, um, source to pay, then you find me basically clicking into uh, my source to pay process from procurement to receive, but also from invoice to pay. Let me now zoom in a bit and uh, go into the supplier uh, payment from purchasing. Um, here, basically, I find then the links into my process insights and my process intelligence uh, tenants. And um, let's first go into the analysis of uh, the quantity, basically. Here, I'm now in process intelligence. I see how many um, uh, items I have here, 14,510, um, what process variants I have. And I can also see um, all the numbers that I have, how long does it take, and basically um, how many of the orders are being created automatically, and so on. Next step would be, of course, to deep dive um, into the process themselves. And here, basically, you find the process discovery uh, analysis, which gives you um, a visual um, interpretation of the information you have in your system and how the data flows. So from the creation of the purchase order, you see basically um, how the, uh, the process flow goes. And um, you can then basically also zoom in to um, uh, um, when do, does the payment happen, how often does it take, and how many items are being transferred. And not only uh, the uh, item count is here depicted, but also the um, how many events happen during that, and also how uh, long the cycle time is for the various steps. So that gives you a very uh, vivid and um, detailed um, interpretation of your process flows. You see then also the metrics being calculated. You see um, uh, how the process execution go in detail, also with the process variants. And um, in the benchmarking, basically, you can then also spot areas where your systems are not running that well. So what I see here, basically, is the overall best run score, um, uh, how the invoice creation is being automated, how invoice blocking works, and also uh, how payment works. And what uh, hits uh, your eye directly is that for certain company codes, I have way uh, not so nice numbers. And um, to understand that even deeper, I can now go into Process Insights and to analyze further. Um, so here I am now in Process Insights, and I have my uh, start page for Procure to Pay and my selected processes for Procure to Pay, which are depicted in Process Insights in my S4HANA system. And I go now into the supplier invoices um, to get recommendations and insights, what is going wrong here specifically for that company code. What I see here now is uh, the overall for all my company codes I have here in the system. And uh, you spot here right away uh, where I have red areas. I can also now filter for certain um, improvement opportunities like in uh, increased days payable outstanding and then focus just on the areas uh, where I see basically things happening. And you remember the number for um, payment was not so nice. Therefore, I uh, want to go here into that. I see here the correction recommendations and also the blockers uh, for um, my uh, items which are not cleared by a payment run. And um, correction recommendations are depicted here. So what I see here easily is that um, it is worse to uh, check um, how often my payments run uh, do uh, are executed and basically um, how um, my companies have payment runs at all set up. And of course, now I want to look in a, a way deeper and just filter on that company code and not see the complete number. I can do that as well. So you remember the company code which was read in my process uh, intelligence analysis. I now filter for that and uh, now see only the numbers. It's 100 and 79 documents, and I see the days to completion uh, does not look so bad, but still I have improvement potential. 
uh, at the beginning, as you've seen it also in process intelligence, and at the end of my process. So again, I can drill into the um, correction recommendations directly and see uh, what is to be done, what, how I can improve my situation. And again, I can deep dive now into uh, what it would take to set up payment runs uh, and clear supplier invoices automatically or to, to ensure automatic clearing through um, electronic bank statements. I hope you like what you've seen and stay tuned for more videos.